All right, so I get this question asked quite a bit. So I figured it was time to address the problem. The question is, you're like, Eddie, I just had my brakes replaced. I just had them serviced. Um, you know, I just changed all the calipers, brake pads, rotors, all this stuff. And it still feels like my brakes are hanging up or my brakes are still getting hot or my car is still vibrating or it's making this rumbling noise as I'm driving. A lot of people will say, as I'm driving down the road, I start feeling a small vibration in the steering wheel or in the seats. And then progressively as they're driving on the road, it starts getting worse and worse. At first, they'll be driving on the highway for like 10 minutes and everything will be fine. And then they'll start feeling a slight vibration. And as they're driving, it gets worse and worse. And the steering wheel starts shaking or the seats start shaking. And sometimes it can get pretty violent. So I keep getting this question and I'm gonna show you what the problem could be. Not what it is, but what it could be. So, and you won't find this from a lot of other mechanics because they really don't take the time to look into, investigate it and see what's really actually causing the problem. And usually it's pretty simple to fix. So let me show you something that I found. I had this person, Clay, ask me in the comments if I've ever heard of this before. What's going on is your brakes are starting to be applied. Now there's a couple of things. I made a video on a caliper sticking, but then there's another thing that you probably won't hear from any other mechanic, or if you do, very few mechanics will pick up on this. So I asked Clay, I said, has anybody been under your dash next to your brake light switch? And he comes back and responds, yeah, my, uh, the little stopper on the brake pedal broke and caused his lights to be on all the time. So he put a body clip in there, a big body clip to take up the space so that it would push on the button. I'll show you all this. Um, so that was his problem. What happened is when he put that button on the brake pedal, it created force on the brake switch and then it caused pressure on the brake pedal. And what happens is the brake pedal will have slight pressure on it. And as you're driving, the brake, the, uh, brake fluid will heat up because your brakes are being applied very lightly and you don't even know it. So as your brake fluid heats up because the brake pads are pushing against the rotors or drums or whatever, your fluid's heating up and as it heats up, it expands and it starts applying more pressure to the brakes. And eventually starts creating so much heat in the brake system that your steering wheel starts shaking or your car starts vibrating or something. So if anybody's been under your dash, this is what you need to check. Basically, this is your brake light switch right here. And this is your brake pedal, as you can see. All right, and as I move the brake pedal, you'll see that little pin right here. This little pin is your brake light switch all right and as you can see as you move it that pin goes in and out of the switch and what that does is it turns your brake lights on and off okay so what happens is when you do this your brake lights come on because the switch closes and when you release the brake pedal it comes back up and pushes the pin and shuts off the brake lights okay so um you want to make sure that this little piece here doesn't push on this blue piece because this blue piece is the switch housing, okay? So you just want it to push on just the pin itself, not the housing of the switch because the housing of the switch will put pressure on the brake pedal. And if there's any pressure on this tab, What's going to happen is it's going to heat up your brake fluid, expand the brake fluid, and cause your brakes to stay on. So let's take a closer look at how the brake light switch works. All right. All right. So basically what you do is you give your, your brake light switch a turn, a quarter of a turn, and it should come right out of the holder. So the brake light switch has a square stock. Okay. And it has, it does have some threads right there, as you can see. All right. And the holder where it goes is the same deal, all right? It has a square stock. So basically you, you put the, uh, 
the flat sides in where those pins are. You know, you get, yeah, right there. See on that back side, that pin? The flat sides have to go just, there should be four of those. See how th it's square? So basically you just slide it in like that. All right. And then let's look at the other side here. Okay, so you slide the brake light switch in until that pin sits flat against. Do not push it further to push on that brake pedal. If you do that, that's where your problem's gonna come in. So you basically just wanna slide it in the hole, bottom out the pin, and then turn it a half a turn or a quarter of a turn or until it snaps into place. That's it, and then, you're, then you're done. And don't forget guys, this isn't the only reason why your brakes would be sticking. I do have another video on a caliper sticking and I'll put the link right here above me and you can also twist a brake line, uh, putting brakes back together. I've done it myself. Uh, twisting, you know, putting the caliper back on, I'm kind of rushing, and didn't realize that I had turned the caliper uh, 360 degrees. I remounted it. Uh, I was trying to squeeze the piston back in, the piston wouldn't go back in, and then I realized that the line's twisted. Um, when you're rushing, sometimes these little things can happen. So there's a lot of different things that can happen while you're working on your vehicle. And, uh, Clay happened to realize that uh, just putting that wrong pin in that uh, brake light on, on the brake pedal switch caused this whole problem. You never know. So guys, I make these videos for you. So if you got a problem with your car and you want me to make a video on it, just leave it in the comment box and I'll get at it. So I hope uh, this video gives you a better explanation of uh, you know, what that brake light switch can do and it's supposed to do. Um, you got any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. I try to answer every question. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and I appreciate it. Don't forget to ring that bell, all right? And that way you can get notifications on my new videos. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a good one.